So we need to take the bolts out of the die assembly. Notice when we're doing this, we actually have the die assembly hooked up to two chains. I bolt in both the mandrel and in the die plate so it can't fall. We have a little bit of tension on the crane. Next, we're going to put it into the machine. Notice now we have the die plate facing the stationary. We're going to want to flip that. We put the die plate on the movable side. We put the mandrel on the stationary side of the machine. Also, if you had a bolster pin, that bolster pin would need to go into this slot in between the two magnets on the movable side. This die assembly that we're using doesn't have a bolster pin. Put the die down onto the die slide. And we're going to disconnect both of the slings and raise the crane out of the way. Sometimes we can spray, so we'll show spraying. We use the uh, anti cork Swoop 7 SV70386 oil. Um, we spray that right in between. Register still. Yeah, right in the register step. Wedge ring. Now we can turn on the main power. And it takes a couple seconds for it to turn on. Your machine will look the same as this. You will not have this piece, so you can ignore that. To run it so we can turn on the pump. Press the power on the pump, which you can now hear the pump running. Okay, next we're going to reset the light curtains. To reset the light curtains, you need two hands. You need your left hand into the optical sensor, and you need your right hand on the blue button. Hold it for you know half a second, and it'll reset. Anytime you trip the light curtains, like I'm going to do right now, that light will come on. The reset light curtain comes on. When you put the die into the die slide or onto the die slide, we, re we trip the light curtains. That's why it was turned off. When the light curtains are tripped, it won't allow you to move with the joystick. So to reset the light curtain, again, use your left hand in the optical sensor and the right hand on the reset light curtain. The blue light goes off, so now we're okay. When the pump's on, then you can use the joystick and your left hand. So you got two hand control within a half second of each other. Move it to the closed platen position. We are closing the platen and we're going to squeeze the die in there. Stop one second, Nathan. Before the die, you see right now we still have a gap. You see that the die not present to magnetize light is on. Once we squeeze that, that light will go off. So we're going to squeeze it. And now you see that light is off. That lets you now press the magnetize button. So go ahead and press magnetize. You have to hold it for about five seconds. And when you see that, you'll see the stationary light come on, and then you'll see the movable light come on. That means that these are now magnetized. We can now use the two hand control again. The left hand on the inside the optical sensor and the right hand on the joystick and we're going to go to open platen this time. We open the platen and now the die opens. 
The die plate will stay with the movable all the way to the end. Stationary um, magnet captured the mandrel and it didn't move. And now we can uh, hook up the chain and we can take the, the mandrel out. We'll take the mandrel out first. We want to put some tension onto the chain on the overhead crane, hook up the mandrel. Just in case we turn off the magnet, we don't want the mandrel to fall. We hook up the chain, put a little bit of tension on it. And then next we'll come over and demagnetize it. Okay, next we can come over and demagnetize it. So we're gonna push the stationary demag button, hold it for about three seconds, the light will go off, and then we can lift it out with the overhead crane. You will notice a small tendency of the die to stick to the magnet. Once it breaks free, all the magnetism is gone. We normally lift it straight up and it'll break free. Then you can take it out and put it down. Okay, next we need to take out the die plate. So again, we're gonna hook up the overhead crane before we demagnetize it. So hook up the overhead crane to the die plate. We'll put a little bit of tension on the chain. And then we'll press the demagnetize button. Press and hold that for about three seconds. You'll see the light go off. And now it's demagnetized and we can lift it out with the overhead crane. Okay, next, after you've removed the die plate, you can turn off the pump and you can turn off the main power if you're all done.